welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today I just wanted to do a get ready with me. It might get a little chatty. I'm not really sure where it's going. I think kind of the cornerstone, I guess, of this will be doing makeup when either you don't have a lot of time and you just need to get out the door, kind of just get it on your face and look good and feel good, that type of thing. But also, sometimes I need that fast makeup, not because I have an appointment to go to or some type of engagement, but more because I'm just feeling like uninspired or like I can't be bothered. And sometimes just knowing that it's not a long routine to get ready, even though like I wanna do it, but you know, there's something kind of stopping you, those kind of in-between moments that are hard to transition. I find knowing I'm gonna do a simple routine can get me to at least start my makeup and then I can go from there and usually it just helps kind of get the gears going so that's what we're gonna be doing today <laughs> I actually filmed this yesterday and it was not in focus so let me check yes it's in focus my gosh, you guys, seriously, I feel like I can't catch a break as of lately. <laughs> um, we're gonna get started. This is the foundation I'm using, but first I do wanna prime. I'm using the Huda Beauty. Uh, this is the water jelly, and this was sent to me like a long time ago, and I feel like I've never used it really consistently to know how I feel about it, and I have a lot, I realized, of like preconceived notions about what this is gonna be like because it's a clear gel-like formula, like looking at it in the bottle. Like, I feel like it's gonna be sticky. I think I assume it's gonna be like hair gel, but it is actually quite moisturizing, like more moisturizing than I expect. It's more like a hyaluronic acid serum with a little bit of viscosity, you know? And it feels actually really moisturizing on my skin. So I've been trying to give that a fair shot so I can really know what it's about and kind of decide if I want it or not. Anyway, that's what I'm using today. I used it yesterday as well, and I really have been enjoying it. The initial reason I put this primer with this foundation is because I use the Kosa's foundation. I had some friends coming over for a dinner. We were like hosting a little dinner party and I was like, you know, doing my makeup, wanted it to look great, but I went with the Kosa's foundation and I found that this was just sitting in my pores. Like it was it did not look good. I was like, oh my gosh, disaster is happening. I need to fix this. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to give this another chance with different primers and really get my thoughts on this too because honestly, guys, mm, I have such a love-hate relationship. I have a love-hate relationship. That's the truth with this. Let me go wet my sponge. I forgot to do that. All right, my sponge is all fluffy. Also, this is the Dose of Colors. I think it's called the Pen Point Sponge, just in case you're wondering. I love it. It's like one of my favorite sponges. Anyway, for this foundation, I always go for my Yensa, but I'm like, oh, I wanted to give this a try and it was just sitting weird in my pores. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm doing like a pump and maybe like a pump and a half or so. Like part of me likes it, and then part of me is like, is it actually good? <laughs> Some of the things I like is it is more natural on my skin, and even yesterday when I had it on as well, I did really like the way it was looking, like the finish on it. It didn't have the same issues of like sitting in my pores like it did with my normal primer, which is the First Aid Beauty, so that was good. I feel like the color, it's a little, a tiny bit light right now, but I feel like once I add bronzer and everything, it's fine, and also in real life, it looks really good too. Like it looks like skin, which is really great, but um, um, in the past, I've had issues with this breaking up really easily and kind of just not wearing well throughout the day. So I don't know. I'm just like trying to wear it a lot and really get to know it without forgetting about like how I feel about it. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Because when it comes to foundations, like I do tend to just go for ones I know are going to work really well. And this one I just kind of avoid a little bit and I don't know why. So I'm forcing myself. Anyway, this kind of doesn't go with the theme, I guess. This is more experimental. But yeah, I definitely lately have been wanting and doing a little bit more of a fast routine. I love doing my makeup still, but either I've had some issues with where I'm doing my makeup because we've just been encountering many a problem, okay? Because like I said, I just can't catch a break. And our plumbing in our apartment, um, in this room, this is like the, what I call my studio, but it has a bathroom attached. And it's the bathroom that we mostly use for showering and all of that. The plumbing, oh, here it goes. This just happens all the time. Why, we don't know. We don't know why that happens, but at least it's not backing up and spilling out into our bathroom <laughs> from the toilet and from the shower. I mean, it was coming up from everywhere. Absolutely terrifying. Like, 
nightmares. Okay, so that's the foundation. Anyway, we'll keep moving on. I'm gonna put some bronzer on. And if you've guessed, I'm gonna use the NARS one. You were right. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's so easy. Like, it's so, so easy. So that's why I love to use it. Anyway, there's no real reason for the toilet backing up. It's not like we clogged it, uh, uh, like a specific clog, you know? There's just something with the pipes that it is clogged deep down, deep down in the depths, wherever that shit, <laughs> no pun intended, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what was going on. And also because we're in an apartment, our upstairs like bathroom people are also connected. We're all connected. It's the worst social network you ever could expect and want. Um, and so it was just horrible. So even if we weren't doing anything, if she was doing something, it was starting to back up. And that's what initially happened. So we had the plumber out and they thought they fixed it. They didn't. And then that's when we had the actual overflow. And again, it wasn't like we flushed the toilet and then it just didn't go down and was overflowing. No, nothing was prompting it in that it just started happening. And so when that was happening, that was like over the weekend. So, you know, we really didn't have anyone coming in. Luckily, I mean, it could have been so much worse. It could have flooded into the carpet. It could have flooded, like it stayed in the bathroom. It stayed confined, thank goodness, because if not, I would literally not know what to do with myself. But anyway, even just with that, that bit of overflow that did happen, I cleaned out that whole bathroom. I took everything out of it, everything in the shower, everything in under the sink, like even things that were not like affected. I was just like not playing around. I didn't want it to like somehow get worse. And also I had this kind of like mental thing of like, it's all been contaminated anyway, cause it's just in there and I'd rather it not. What if it overflows again? Like I just, no. So I cleaned out that whole bathroom right now. It's like completely empty. Cause I still haven't, I like want to go through and really sanitize everything before I even start bringing things in again. It's not too bad right now. It's not like there's just shit on the floor or something, but just mentally I need to do that before I'll feel comfortable. And it sucked so much because right before this, I had gotten this whole studio, like everything put away and like really cleaned because we had friends coming over and Sam and I used those opportunities to really clean our house. Like we deep cleaned everything. We made sure everything was like really nice for our guests and for ourselves. We're constantly like, man, why don't we live this way? For us, <laughs> you know? Like I had just like deep cleaned the bathroom <laughs> before this happened. And I had all my products. I even set up this really cute little masking station in there so that I could do my masks. And it was amazing. It was so nice. But um, yeah, that got foiled um, basically immediately. It was like the next day. <laughs> Can you, you know, the timing on that, it's pretty comical. Anyway, so that's something I've been dealing with. You'll have to let me know because I haven't put everything back yet. I'm thinking about maybe filming like, uh, I don't know, putting all my bathroom in there because I've made it really this nice sanctuary for self-care and you know, all that because I've been into the body scrubs and just kind of that section. So let me know if you want to see that. It's like literally a blank slate and then we'll put everything in. I also thought maybe I'd declutter. I don't know, let me know if you'd be interested. I'm thinking about it, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, you guys, let's talk about this concealer because I picked this up because of you. I got so many recommendations for the Bear With Me concealer from NYX. And I remember talking about this like in uh, January or maybe December. It was like in a list video of like popular ones and I just kind of forgot about it, you guys. And oh my gosh, I'm in love. Thank you so much. I'm using the shade Light right now. It is so nice. The other day I used this actually as my foundation and I loved it. It's it's like everything I wanted, guys. So thank you so much. I love getting your guys' recommendations. I've really been picking a lot of them up, I feel like, lately, and they've been such wins, so thank you. This has the exact coverage I want. It has the exact finish I want. It looks so nice without being cakey and too heavy, but it does have coverage. Like, I can definitely see the coverage, and I think I just, I've been missing a concealer that does this, that just looks like skin, but covers your skin. Like you would think that'd be a lot more concealers than there actually are like that. And you only need the tiniest amount. I barely even use a full pump. I don't even think I use a full pump because when I was doing a really fast look recently, I used it as my full foundation and I used a pump for that. And it was a very light coverage, but it was perfect for what I was going for. And I am just so happy with it, you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you because it's 
I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even need to try more concealers right now. And I realized that, man, it's good because of how fast I fall I've fallen in love with it and how much it's just doing exactly what I almost was feeling was impossible. I just wasn't getting this shit from other concealers. So if you haven't tried this, like if you're like me and you haven't tried this shit, like try it. It is so so good i'm just tapping it in with my fingers right now but i can use a sponge as well it just kind of gives me a little less coverage and i don't know i just i like the finish with my fingers i just hate getting dirty but you know it is what it is i'm just so, like a little bit goes so far i love that okay but i don't mean that in that if you use too much of it like you have to use a dot and it'll be too much it's not like that i just feel like this is gonna last me a lot I, I don't know i'm like obsessed with this so thank you so much leave any more of your like amazing product recommendations down below please like i have had so many wins i also picked up a mask one of you guys recommended it was the pixie one uh because i was looking for something that was just hydrating and kind of cooling actually and it's perfectly that it's literally in a tub which i kind of love because it really encourages you to just like fucking use it you know like you got a tub of this shit, so use it and i just put on like a thick layer and it's definitely cooling um almost like to the point not burning but it gets kind of cold but it's really just like a shot of moisture which is so nice i already did it today too i like went on a walk around my block with it on so i probably looked like american psycho while i did that but i didn't care i was like double tasking okay i really just had to kickstart stuff we're gonna talk a little bit about mental health because again like my mental health is just up and down all the time and that's the reality. It doesn't mean that I'm always just like so sad, but I, every day is a different day and I just do my best to tackle it. And that's the truth. And I don't know, sometimes it's nice on social media to just know that not everything's rainbows for everyone. And it's also not only like the most depressing thing constantly. Like it's, it's just very up and down. So let's do some blush though. It always makes you feel better. For this kind of thing, I feel like it's almost too bright looking. I don't know, I got new lights. So you'll have to let me know how they're working. I'm pretty obsessed with them. I'm really hoping I can just have some consistent lighting that I'm like happy with because that's another issue. I've just been having issues with freaking filming, you guys. I've filmed things out of focus. I've filmed things and files basically got corrupted. Just like, honestly, it's not even corrupted. They just disappeared into the ether of nothingness. <laughs> Anyway, I love blushes, I love cream blushes, but for this kind of like fast makeup, the one I go to is Teddy from Persona. You guys, I love this blush so much. It adds color, but it's still very neutral, so it doesn't matter if I go warm toned, cool toned, anything, it's gonna work. And I'm doing the Kelly Gooch thing. I watched her little short about how she doesn't apply onto her skin, and I can do that with this, and it's not too big of an issue, but man, it just like blended out so seamlessly when I saw her do it, so I was like, I'm trying that, and it's really nice so just you know thank you kelly for the pointer look at that look how easy that was this is a really creamy blush though so i feel like it just blends out so nicely anyway but really this is just the perfect blush for i guess a blush a more blush heavy look you know you definitely look like you're wearing it but i always just feel so sun kissed and like I don't know why it immediately makes me feel just like a summer kid or like, I don't know. Like I look like, I didn't hike today, but like I've been hiking like recently. <laughs> Or just like enjoying the outdoors in a very healthy, fun way. But right now I just look cute and I'm running errands or something. <laughs> That's the vibe, okay? I love it so much. And I put a little on my nose because I just love that too. And that's the blush. But anyway, going back to mental health, it's just been rough. I feel like I've been down, I've been up, I've been trying really hard, trying my hardest, but every day is just so different. And I'm trying to get some issues I'm having with like my pain. I've been seeing just different doctors and dealing with that, which is good. Like I feel happy that I'm like doing it, but that can just take a toll on me. And I'm really just trying to find the balance and really with this fast, quick makeup routine, let's bring it back to the makeup. Even though I love doing my makeup, there's these in-between moments that just feel so tough. I was kind of talking about that, where like the transitions, like getting out of bed, getting dressed, those things just take a lot of inertia to like get started. And once they happen, I usually can like start moving more, but that initial doing is very difficult. And I'm trying to find ways to make that happen while still being gentle and kind, but also like, we, we should do some stuff. Like, you know, I'm trying to find the balance, truly the balance, truly the self-care, truly also working on the issues of like, why don't I want to get up? Like, what is it? Okay, let's figure that out. Like, what, are you actually tired? Are you this? Like, 
all of the stuff. I'm trying to be really healthy about it. But even though I love doing my makeup, another transitional period is like doing my makeup. It feels like a big to do, even though it doesn't have to be. And so I've been not tricking myself, but definitely been attracted to just being like, oh, just do something quick real fast. And then usually halfway through doing my makeup, I'm like excited to do something more fun or whatever. You know what I mean? So I've been trying to work on that. And that's kind of the inspo for this too. Although I've been living out of like what feels like a makeup bag, even in my own home, because because of the plumbing thing, which has also kind of forced me to have a little tiny bag of makeup that I've been working out of. And it's actually been kind of nice. I'm using this powder. I just, another love hate. Like, do I like Kosas or do I hate Kosas? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, like part of me loves it. Part of me is like, I don't know about that. <laughs> like, look at it, what the heck? And I'm not the only one that has that. Like a lot of people have it hard band. Anyway, I have been powdering the center of my face just to like, you know, not be so shiny. And I've had issues with that powder in the past, but it kind of feels like it's doing okay for me. So I don't really know. I don't really know if I like that or if I don't like it, but I guess I use it. It's not so horrible, I wouldn't use it. I'm gonna do my brows really fast. Brows I think look pretty good today. I really hope that the playback for me doesn't play myself. Like sometimes I say that and I'm like editing and I'm like, girl, they're not it. But I think today they look nice and like not too dark, pretty natural, but weren't too hard to do. Anyway, I guess just talking about you know, getting started. If you're feeling that way about makeup or you're feeling like it's a big to do or even just other areas in your life, I hope that you can you know, find a way to get started because I feel like sometimes that's the hardest thing and then I just overthink and I, you know, I get caught up in a lot of stuff before I'm even doing anything. Whereas if I just take the action, a lot of the times it just leads to me doing a lot more actions than I even thought were possible. Like I didn't know the first thing was possible, let alone 10 other things I was able to do. And you know, I love doing my makeup. I am realizing that I use it for more than just creativity now. I do like the way I look and there is something about feeling put together, looking pretty, like, you know, that I enjoy that transformation piece and I do feel really put together and like makes me wanna get dressed, it makes me wanna go out, makes me feel good in that way. But I have to say, fuck the fact that guys don't have to do any of this shit, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna use this duo from Tom Ford. I initially wasn't sure about it, but I actually have really been loving it. So I thought I would use it today and show you guys it. But seriously, like it is so insane for me to think that guys, they just like don't have to do any of this stuff. Like seriously, they can just get ready. It takes no time. And of course we can too, we can do that. Uh, but you're also gonna get hit with you, you, are you feeling okay? Oh, you look tired today. You immediately get looked at as lazy or not pretty or like overlooked. And it just sucks, like it just sucks, right? I hate that. I hate that that's like a real thing, but it, it truly is, isn't it? And I just am like, guys don't have to do so much. They can do like the bare minimum. And it's so annoying. We have to do all this just to be like, maybe. Then it's like, <laughs> double-edged sword too because then you're just vain right all you care about is looks and it's vapid to care about makeup even though you have to care about makeup and you have to do your makeup well to like kind of be respected in a lot of ways but even then you're just kind of objectified like it's so annoying it's so fucking annoying anyway i also am like think of all the time that men don't have to think about like doing beauty stuff <laughs> like seriously they save so much time i was thinking about this just earlier today too i was like thinking about what's the difference between self-care and this kind of like maintenance thing and you know i do enjoy doing beauty stuff as self-care i just enjoy it you know i'm over here saying all this i genuinely like it i like it for fun i like it for how it makes me look i like it as a creative outlet like i i love it i love makeup i love beauty stuff and some of it is self-care to me you know 
But then this idea of maintenance, I think it can be self-care and can be good too, but I was thinking like, man, that's a kind of like negative. Like you have to maintain yourself by doing all this stuff to you to be, again, not lazy. I feel like the context, if you're not maintaining something, then you're letting it go. And I really hate that when it comes to, especially like anti-aging shit. That's so fucking annoying to me. Like I kind of get it. Like as I'm, I'm not even old, but I do feel like somehow 30 and maybe just just the year I've had man um has me thinking about age for sure and like wanting to be like healthy for sure as I age but I don't know man I feel like there's a lot to unpack there with like this maintenance idea and like it's not bad if anyone chooses to do any of it I'm not saying I wouldn't choose to do it I just feel like it's just damned if you do damned if you don't it's so fucking annoying okay let me zoom in I don't know why I'm going off on like a million tangents in here it's kind of what happened yesterday too so yeah I guess that's just me Let's do some a uh, little bit of eyeliner. I haven't been doing too much on my lower lash line lately I just kind of like keeping it clean, but it is nice to have a little bit of definition Also, I noticed with the concealer it does crease a little bit initially Like I'll have a little in my little bag there and I just wipe it off a lot of concealers do that It's not like abnormal, but I find after I do that once I really don't do it again So that's kind of nice. It's not like something that's creasing throughout the day. I like hurt my eyeball right now. All right, so just a little definition, perfect. I'm gonna do some mascara. Oh, I wanna do some highlighter actually on my brow bone and stuff. I love this, oh, you guys, I'm so happy I love this highlighter. I was so nervous when I first tried it, I wasn't gonna like it. And my, my, I love it. It is so pretty for my eyes. I especially love it for that, but it looks great on the face as well. It's just so pretty. It's like the perfect shine. It's not too much. It's not too little. I'd love to know what is, okay, what's popular for highlighters now? Because I used today, I don't know if you saw this Pat McGrath one also, this is the one from Holiday. And I don't know what to call this. Like, I wouldn't say this is natural. It definitely has some shine, but it's also not like metallic. It's not like a stripe. It's not opaque powder on my cheeks either. I don't know if highlighter, I feel like highlighter's kind of going out of style, but I fucking love it still. And I just don't even know, I don't even know how to describe it in some ways. Cause it's like, it's not natural, but it's also not like shiny to the moon, but it is pretty shiny. I don't know, what, what is that called? Is there is there a name for that like specifically? Anyway, let me do my lashes really fast. I've only been doing them, like I said, on the top. I've been avoiding my lower lashes for sure. I don't know, I just have been enjoying the look a lot. And also, like I've mentioned before, it's just nice not to have to worry as much about product going down on my lower eyes. Cause I don't really wanna set with a powder under my eyes. I don't, it just looks powdery. Even the powders that supposedly don't, it's a fucking lie. A lie and I feel like it's like the dead giveaway that you have like a ton of makeup on and it's just not the look I really like I would rather be oily 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 and blot away than be powdered and set and then what that looks like throughout the day for me at least on my skin like no no no, no. all right well this is the eyes done I'll zoom you all the way in this is so simple and I actually didn't like this duo like I said when I first got it but in my house in camera it might not look that amazing I'm telling you in person Sam agreed like he was like that looks really good there's something about this in actual person that looks super expensive super luxe uh it's simple but there's something to it I don't know is it worth the money? Can you find something else? Maybe, but I'm telling you, it just took a few wears before I, I like realized the glory. I have a few products like that. Maybe I'm gonna do a video on that. I'm just powdering a little bit more because I feel like it needs it. But yeah, I think everything looks so so good if I if I do say so myself. Let's do some lips. For lips, I'm going to be using this Essence lip liner. I've been basically grabbing a new lip liner out of my collection every day to try because I bought a lot at once. I really wanna know like which ones I should keep and which ones I shouldn't. This is the Essence one in Biba. I think it's Biba. It's nice, I like this one. It's kind of dry, but I kind of prefer like <laughs> a dry pencil. And then the lip product, this is from Linda Hallberg. I picked this up when I got the Shimmer Saga Quad. This is the Infinity Lip Gloss in Mellow Mauve. I've really been enjoying this. It reminds me of the Summer Fridays one, if you have that lip balm. But this is, I like the formula better, and this feels a little bit, oh, it's, <laughs> you've gotta be careful though. Look how much I put on. 
yikes it's like somehow thin yet it feels really moisturizing and nourishing on my lips i also don't get any of the white line even when i talk even when my lips aren't in like the best condition it still looks really good so yeah this is a version of my makeup i would do if i have like very little time this would probably take me about 10 minutes like if i was really hustling you know and so that's great obviously for like appointments and whatnot but like i was saying like even if i don't have those things sometimes just getting the base on starting with this fast look then lets me get inspired and try other things as well which is really great so i don't know i thought i would share this with you i don't know what i'm going to title this like sometimes i feel like you know i just want to put my makeup on with you guys but i feel like i have to have some fucking like thing about it and sometimes i just want to chit chat so but i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks so much for hanging out with me and chilling um i really appreciate it and thanks so much for watching okay i'll see you in the next video bye guys